Hello everyone, this is Sandhok once again and today I am going to discuss one of the interesting topic of English grammar that is active and passive voice. So in today's video we will learn how we can change a sentence that is in active from to passive. Okay. So here I am just going to share you some tricks, some formulas on how you can easily change from active to passive voice. So do watch the video properly. So before I start, let us understand the concept of active and passive voice. Now before that, let us understand what is a voice. It is a form of verb which indicates whether the subject does the work or something has to be done. Now what is a voice? A voice is the form of verb. Now, what I am doing here, I am making a video, I am preparing a video. Now I am the subject, I am preparing. So a voice should be the, what is the verb here, preparing is the verb. So it should be the form of verb which indicates whether the subject does the work. Here the subject is doing, I am the subject and I am doing the work. What I am doing, I am preparing a video or something has to be done. That exactly is the voice. Now let us talk about active and passive. Now active, now here I am preparing a video, now I am preparing a video, now this sentence is considered as an active voice. Why active voice? Because I, that is subject, the subject is doing something, okay, the subject is the door of the action, so that exactly is your active voice, means the subject is active. Now, similarly, if I say a video is being made by me, a video is being made by me. So now here you consider the first subject, which was the object before has become a subject. A video has been the door of the action and the main subject has become the passive. Now, that is the difference between active and passive voice. But one more thing I would like to share with you that when we are changing from active to passive, we are not changing the meanings. Say I told you to hold your ears. Now, this is the first way. Okay, I can hold like this, right? Now, what is the similarity? The similarity is simply I am telling you to hold your ear. So this is also the way, this is also the way. So similarity is in both the way we are holding the ears, right? But <coughs> only the technique has been changed. So it is the same concept that is applicable in active and passive. We are only changing the formation, we are only changing the verbs. We are not changing the meanings. Okay, here are the, some rules from changing from active to passive. Rule number one, when we are changing active into passive, the subject in the act, active will become object in the passive and the object of the active becomes subject in the passive. So this is rule number one. Now rule number two is when we are changing an active into passive, it is always preceded by preposition by by. I am preparing a video. A video is being prepared by me. By. Got it? Okay. Next rule that is a very very important rule. The active voice verb form will change into past participle verb that is third form of verb in passive. As we have already studied that there are three forms of verb. Present form, past and past participles. In other words, we say verb 1, 
verb 2 and verb 3. Now, when we are changing from active to passive, the verb form will change to third form of verb. Say, I am preparing a video. This is active voice. I am preparing a video. Okay, what you are doing? You are watching a video. Okay, I am preparing a video. So, preparing. Now, preparing here is verb 1, present form. Now, the same, if I convert into passive, a video is being prepared. So, prepared here is the third form of verb, that is past parts. Okay, so keep these three things in your mind. And now we will start on how we can change. Okay, the trick, the technique, and some formulas on how we can change from active to passive. In the tenses video, which I had already recommended you to watch, I suggest you to kindly go and check once because. Uh, the tenses video will be very very important before we learn this active and passive so let us start okay now first we will come to the with the simple present so as you know uh, the active form uh, the formula which we have learned is subject plus v1 that is first form of verb plus ses plus object now when we are converting into passive it will be object plus is mr plus v3 that is third form of verb which i have already told you in the rule plus by plus subject so example he plays the guitar in passive the guitar is played by him so as you can see the subject has become an object the object has been changed into the subject and the main verb has been converted into past participle verb that is third form of verb so remember this rule now present continuous as uh, I had already explained regarding present continuous tense that uh, the action which is in continuous form that is your continuous tense now one interesting thing I am going to reveal today but before that uh, let us check the formula the active is subject plus is mr plus v1 plus ing plus object now while changing into passive the subject will become object is mr will remain same that is is mr i hope you people know how to use is mr plus b e i n g being now this one is very very important it's this b e i n g being is applicable in every continuous tense rather we are only dealing with two tenses that is present continuous and past continuous even in past continuous it will be being -E only so and the next one will be third form of verb that is uh, v3 plus by plus subject so example similar example he is playing a guitar a guitar is being played by him so quite easy next one comes present perfect tense so the rule of active is subject plus has have plus third form of word plus object now in passive it will become object plus has have plus been plus v3 plus by plus subject remember when we are converting an active that is present perfect uh, tenses into passive uh, has and have will be same only one word we are including that is be and been and this is also applicable in your uh, past perfect tense future perfect tense and even in uh, present perfect tense okay so as you know that in perfect tenses has a, a third form of verb that is past participle verb uh, either in passive if you change the verb form will remain same okay for example he has played the guitar the guitar has been played by him okay so we have completed the uh, present tenses now coming to the simple past 
simple past uh, you people know uh, subject plus second form of verb plus object now when we convert into passive it will become object plus was were plus third form of verb plus by plus subject now example he played the guitar the guitar was played by him in past continuous uh, subject plus was were plus v i plus ing plus object so this one is your active and when we are changing into passive object plus was were plus b e i n g being as i told you in continuous tense we are including one word that is b e i n g being plus v3 plus by plus subject so always remember in continuous tenses when we are changing into passive we are including one word that is b e i n g being okay so as usual there will be a third form of verb plus by plus subject example he was playing the guitar the guitar was being played by him now this is your passive form now past perfect inactive the rules are subject plus had plus third form of verb plus object now when we are converting into passive it will become object plus had plus been now once again i told you in perfect tenses there is one word where we have to include when changing into passive that is been been plus third form of verb plus by plus subject so example he had played the guitar the guitar had been played by him now next one is a simple future tense so the general rule of active is subject plus will shall plus first form of verb plus object when we are changing into passive it will become object plus will shall plus beb now this one is the word that we will include plus third form of verb plus subject okay example he will play the guitar the guitar will be played by him now the last one that is future perfect the active rules a subject plus will shall plus have plus third form of verb plus object now as i told you already that we are including the word be and been in perfect let us check object plus will shall plus have plus be and been here you go again we are including be and been here in future perfect tense also plus third form of verb plus by plus subject so example he will have played the guitar the guitar will have been played by him so these are your general rules the formulas just make sure that you should keep these things in your mind because whenever we are converting any active to passive if you remember this formula if you memorize this formula then it will be very easy for all to uh, understand and to solve it now you must be wondering that why sir didn't talk about present perfect continuous past perfect continuous future continuous and future perfect continuous tenses the reason is there is one good news that we cannot create passive form of these tenses so therefore this is not necessary there is no any scope uh, to create a passive form of these tenses so this is the good news now before i give the home assignment uh, there are still the um, the process of this active and passive is not yet over in the next video i'll be dealing with some interrogative sentence some imperative sentences how to convert from active to passive okay so your home assignment will be given in the whatsapp group so kindly be updated so that's all for today thank you so much and stay healthy stay safe